Maggie to the rescue. Hey everybody. Today Maggie is here giving TLC to her new friend that I found at an estate sale recently. Thank you, Maggie. You can have a seat. Do you recognize who she is? I didn't. So look at those little dimples and her curly hair. She's a Shirley Temple doll. So she's marked ST15 on her back of her head, ideal, an ideal doll, and she's marked the same on her back. And so she was a 1950s doll. And she's made out of a nice vinyl and hard plastic, very high quality. And they made a version of her in the 1970s as well. So you can see she has a little foggy eye that I'm going to have to work on. And she's very dirty. Hopefully it's stirred and not stains. But she's got it on her arms and, ugh, and under her arm. On this one. Ugh. Yeah, she's got a lot of issues, but we're going to take care of them. She's got those cute little dimples on her bottom. I love when they do that. As you can see, her hair is terribly damaged, except for this one little original curl. It's in these kind of like blocks of matted mess. So that's my biggest challenge, but I'm up to it and I'm gonna give it a good shot and see what I can do. I'm using a wet wipe to wipe her down and see if this is dirt or stains. And I want to try that eye, see what we have. And it came right off. That's wonderful because I didn't have to try any special techniques to get that fog out of her eye. There's one I want to try soon that others of you have written to me about where you use a little cone and do a little bit of a blow dryer when it's a foggy eye. So I'll try that in the future. So just continuing to work all around. This part was particularly bad. But later I used um, a white erase sponge and got that off. And I went into the bathroom and I just used the toothbrush and some soap and did some extra scrubbing on her fingernails and feet and just certain areas that really needed some extra attention. So with the toothbrush, and the dry eraser or magic eraser and the wet wipes i was able to get her cleaned up very nicely i'm gonna wash her hair so in order for her eyes to be able to dry out in the interior of her head i'm gonna take her head off because you don't want that to get moldy that did well if you see my Chrissy video, you'll know never to take a Chrissy doll head off, at least not the way that I did. So now I'm just using fabric softener to dip her hair in. If you saw my Belle and Barbie video, you'll see that I realized that the fabric softener really works beautifully to soften hair up. And I'm just going to put a bobby pin in this little original curl, just as a reference for what her curls were like. And my next step is always just to use a lot of conditioner on hair that's this damaged. So I'm just really working it through, massaging it through as much as I can. And now that it's rinsed, one good thing is it's not only a lot softer, but you could see her part. So I'm really glad that that worked. 
Lots more to go, but it's getting there. So I'm just going to start with this little part in the back and see what happens. And the comb is miraculously going through it without too much effort. The whole time though, this hair still feels very wiry, but just the fact that I'm able to tame it at all is so much better than what it was like. So now I'm just going section by section, trying to comb out areas that I think a curl went into just to get it combed so that when I put the curlers in, I have it in different sections. So now I'm just thinking about how I might end up styling it. So here's an example. This is a little Danbury Mint doll, funny little doll. Um, and do you see how her curls, they all go forward towards her face. So one side goes forward and then when you twist her around, the other side goes forward towards her. So I'm going to do my best to actually roll the hair in that way. So I'm just sort of gently combing a little bit over as I'm rolling them up. Just trimming a little bit. That one was particularly knotted. So all the rollers are in. I left a few little corkscrews that um, that I found while I was combing that were still in her hair and sort of defined her Shirley Temple look. So now I'm just going to let her dry overnight. And here she is the next day, all dry. Thank you, Maggie, for keeping her company. And here are a couple of little dresses that I'm looking at that could be really cute on her. And I'm also looking at a couple of pairs of shoes, either the white pair or the black patent pair. I sort of lean towards the black patent, but they're bigger, a little too big for her, but I do have some thick socks I can use. So I'm going to put her head back on and then look at a couple of little dresses. So this pink dress is just adorable, but I think the little blue dress just looks a little bit more like Shirley Temple. So I'm going to go with that one. Very cute. I think it was handmade. This dress fits her perfectly. It was like it was made for her. Found a little pair of underpants that are adorable. Here we go, time to take the rollers out. Kept its shape beautifully, just what I wanted to see. And now I'm gonna just measure the roller to show you. Again, I probably would have chosen perm rollers that were smaller. These were ones I found up the street at a little drugstore. Now taking out the rest of them in the pattern that the little doll was in.
her hair is still, um, you know, it is damaged hair, but so it still feels a little bit stiff or wiry, but it's so much better to be able to get it in some resemblance of what it once was. So once all the rollers come out, I'm going to think about how to style it. There she is with all the rollers out. Now it's just a matter of styling. And I'm just going to style it in the way that the Little Danbury Mint doll is styled and really try to tighten up the little corkscrew curls and pull that sort of top part over to make it more flat in that sort of Shirley Temple style. And I'll get a ribbon to put in her hair. I really do think it looks a lot like Shirley Temple's hair. And now for my last step, I'm going to put a little cheek color on. Use the warmth of my finger and then I just sort of rub it on until I get a kind of airbrushed look for display purposes. Now we're ready for the big reveal. Isn't she precious? just like the original Shirley Temple was precious. So let's take a look at her before. Goodness. And here she is after. So if any of you out there collect Shirley Temple dolls, or if maybe you had this doll when you were a child, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. And as a reminder, Maggie to the Rescue is a new channel, so please be sure to like and subscribe to see lots more restorations and show and tells to come. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Like and subscribe. Thank you.